Am I the asshole for refusing to help out my ex's family when we share kids? X and I were together for 10 years. We had two boys together. Our sons are 8 and 5 now. When our youngest was 2 she left me for her now husband. She was pregnant at the time too. A DNA test had to be done because, you know, we were sexually active up until I found out. Her daughter is his. We share custody of our boys and I made a clean break. I do not speak to her unless it's about our boys and I do not communicate with her husband ever since he tried to push me out early on. Now they're struggling. I work and provide for my kids. I make the most of my time with them. I make sure they are fed, clothed and doing okay in school. They feel under pressure even though neither of them work. At first X tried to sue me for more child support and the judge told her their circumstances had not changed so no. Then she would use our app for co-parenting to ask for $50 once or twice a week while she had the boys. Then she would ask when the boys were with me. When she had the boys I would ask what she needed it for and nine-tenths it was so they could buy diapers for their daughter or feed her and her husband and I said no. I told her it was not my job to support her, her husband and their daughter. It was theirs. She told me I could never really stop supporting them as my son's family. I told her I support my sons because they are my children, but she was no longer entitled to me supporting her. Then it got to be an issue about gifts and the fact I only ever ensure they call their mom or little sister for their birthdays if I have them and not that I get gifts and the same with Christmas and that I facilitate a call for Christmas there with me but don't send gifts. She then asked if I would start including her daughter in some things I do with the boys and I said no. She, and her husband, are saying I'm a petty asshole and that I should be looking after my son's family as if they were my own and should be working on becoming a family unit of sorts. But I have to be honest I can just about be civil for my kid sake. I don't want to play happy families with that woman again or include her husband or any other kid she has, and she's pregnant again which will probably also be my responsibility. I guess my only doubts come from the fact I know my kids are caught up in this. And I know a better man might be able to do it for them. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole she shouldn't be having kids if she can't raise them. Your only priority is your sons not her family. Not the asshole and it is good that you set yourself up firm before your ex and her husband have a second child together. It's really concerning that, neither of them work yet have their own child plus partial custody of the two you share with your ex and are requesting further assistance from you. I would recommend talking with a lawyer to discuss taking greater custody of your sons since it looks like neither your wife or her husband have the means to take care of them. Your duty is to your sons, not for two adults who can't, won't, work to provide for themselves and their daughter. It's a sad fact but honestly you taking majority, if not sole, custody of your sons could give them a reprieve to sort out their financial difficulties. She told me I could never really stop supporting them as my son's family. Not the asshole. She sounds entitled as hell and wants to have her cake and eat it too. She screwed you over and left while she was pregnant with another man's baby and now they're struggling financially with another one on the way? And hash x200b. She then asked if I would start including her daughter in some things I do with the boys and I said no. Her daughter is not your family, this is beyond the pale. And hash x200b. Dude, call your lawyer and request full custody if you feel like it would benefit you and your sons. I think you could definitely make a case here. NTA. Try and get full custody. Not the asshole. Far from it actually. Your ex cheated on you and left you. She made her bed. You're doing what you're legally entitled to do, heck, maybe a bit more, but you're under no obligation to support your adulterous ex, her child, and her dick of a hubby. You may want to look into getting custody of your sons, in my opinion. Not the asshole. I can't believe you have to ask this. They need to care for their child and themselves, and not depend on you. Not the asshole. Looking after their daughter is on them, not you. Have you considered filing for sole custody and using the messages as support for you case that she's struggling with them? I will say, though, despite your feelings towards her, you should be teaching your sons to respect their mother, it would be nice to help them give her a gift for her birthday, Mother's Day or whatever. A gift from your sons would be on you and not her current husband. Not the asshole as long as you are providing for your kids. 
Then you're not the asshole. Not the asshole. She sounds entitled. She should use all her pent-up anger that she has from making the wrong decision in having an affair, and focus it on getting a job instead of trying to sponge off you. Not the asshole. I disagree that, a better man, might be willing to financially support his cheating ex, her new husband and their two kids. I also disagree that it would not be in your children's best interests to petition the court to modify the allocation of custodial time. I'm not advocating depriving her of visitation but to be honest, I would suspect that your kids are getting the short end of the stick in that household. Not the asshole has she tried to manipulate your sons in any way? If she's desperate enough for suing you for child support, then manipulation seems to be the next choice for her. Not the asshole. You take care of your kids. You're not responsible for anyone else. Not the asshole you have absolutely no responsibility to her new family. I suggest you keep ongoing open communication with your boys about how they feel about the family dynamic, because they are where you should be focusing your efforts. Not the asshole. The adults in that house and the children they have together are not your responsibility. If you were kind enough to start helping her out extra here and there she would only expect more from you especially with another child on the way. You may want to give some serious thought to whether or not it would be in your boy's best interest for you to seek more custody. Not the asshole. You are taking care of your kids, as you should. You don't have to support her, her other kids or her new husband. You aren't mean or cruel about it, so she can go fly a kite. Have you thought about trying to get primary custody of the boys? Not the asshole. Not interested in those kids. Don't love them. Don't want them. Don't need them. She should take full responsibility for her actions instead of forcing someone to help her. Not the asshole. You are in no way responsible for your ex, her husband or their daughter, they are. You are not putting in the middle and anyone who says you are is trying to manipulate you. Don't fall for. Just keep taking care of your boys as you have been. If she wants stuff for her daughter then she and her husband need to get jobs. My 19-year-old daughter made $45,000 last year so two grown-ass adults should be able to make enough to provide for themselves and their daughter. They are not your responsibility. Not the asshole. You take care of your children and that's the end of your responsibilities. Her asking to be a family unit of sorts is kinda laughable as she is the one that burned that bridge it seems, at least to me. Also, neither of them works? Did they lose jobs due to the pandemic or are they just not looking? Honestly, to feed my family I'd try any job, but I also know how hard it is to find a job in this climate. And don't they both have family, actual blood relatives, that can help them? It real doesn't seem very logical to me to reach out to you. Totally not the asshole. But what is the custody schedule? I understand from your comments that you don't want to file for sole custody, but I hope you have the kids at least 50% of the time. Not the asshole. You're being a decent dad to your boys. That's enough. Not the asshole. Your ex-wife cheated on you and up until she left you, you thought the baby she was carrying was yours and it turned out to be her then BF's baby. Let me be clear. She chose this life she now has. Her daughter's support is up to her and her husband, who is also the bio dad. You don't owe her a penny. When you have your sons, you support them. You are giving her and your sons the child support you owe them when she has them with her. This is all you're obliged to do. You do not have to provide gifts, special trips for her daughter with your sons, or anything else. Just keep it civil and protect your kids. Edit. If they aren't working, at least one of them should go out and find a job. There are a lot of available jobs right now. Not the asshole. You're divorced. That officially makes her not just not your problem, but also not your business. If your kids are fine, that's what matters. Her new family aren't your family. No fuck her and her daughter and the dude that was fucking her while she was married to you. If your ex-wife can't take care of your boys during her appointed custody times then maybe you need sole custody of them. Not the asshole. You sound like an amazing father, keep it up. Not the asshole on everything except, info. Does she facilitate the boys getting gifts for you on your birthday and father's day? If so, then you should be doing the same for her. Sounds like she doesn't but, if she does, that's one area in which you should reciprocate. 
might be time to start tracking the boy's struggles when they're with her. If the disparity ever becomes harmful to them then you can look into reworking custody. Not the asshole and involve the court if this continues. Totally not the asshole at all. Her new husband should be taking the boys to buy their mom a gift. Dude as a parent I'm so sorry this is happening. You're doing the right stuff. You're holding true to your boundaries and taking care of your sons. You're a good dad. The way your wife left is. Dot the worst betrayal. She has the audacity to ask you to care for her baby that she created by cheating on you. That's not okay ever. That baby has two parents. It is not on you. Oh hell nah. If the tables were turned, do you think she'd embrace this, we're all one big family, mentality if you were the one who needed money? Doubtful. Not the asshole, take good care of your boys and ignore her crap. Not the asshole. God, man, go to court and get your kids out of there. It has come to my attention that my children are living in an unstable environment with food insecurities. Neither adult in the house has a stable job. In the last XX months, the ex has asked me XX times for extra money to buy food and household goods. I feel that the ex cannot provide adequately for the children. Why aren't they working? Ah, uh, not the asshole. She did you dirty plus her husband tried pushing you away but now that they need help you need to take care of them? That's not how it works. Not the asshole. Nope. You raise your family, you take care of your children. Nothing more. Not the asshole I would go back to court and ask for full custody you have proof that they can't take care of themselves or their child when they're asking for money. Not the asshole. You are looking after your sons, you are doing a lot more than most split parents manage. I'm not usually one to say go for full custody, as I believe that kids need both parents in their lives, but seems as their mum can't look after them and the idiot she left you for, isn't stepping up to look after his own kid, you really should be looking at full custody and give those boys the life they deserve. But I have to be honest I can just about be civil for my kid sake. It sounds to me like you're doing the best you can, considering her, and her husband's, horrendous betrayal of you. She wants to push for more, which is outrageous. A better person, might be willing to be more generous, but since you're doing right by your kids and fulfilling your obligations, you shouldn't be pressured into doing more. You aren't doing anything wrong. Also, being, a better person, is often something a person says to pressure someone else into being walked all over, in my opinion. Not the asshole. Not your problem, and to be honest the new husband took your wife and put babies into her so it's really his job to work extra shifts or get a second, third job. Karma is a bitch I guess. At some point they have to own the decisions that they have made and the resulting consequences. Op save the messages and sue for custody. If she can't take care of them, even with your help, they shouldn't be with her full time. It's not your responsibility to pay for her other kids. Not the asshole. Go for primary custody. She has her hands full with her new baby and another on the way. She and her husband are struggling as it is. No need for your kids to suffer because of her choices. NTA and can you get more custody? Might be better for the kids to be far away from this dumpster fire of a family. Not the asshole your ex is ridiculous I would get a lawyer about harassment. Not the asshole, and let me come at you from the opposite side of the fence say you were dating a nice lady who accepted your sons and wanted to make a serious attempt at a long-term relationship. Would you imagine that lady would be happy to discover you are supporting the ex's family? Imagine explaining that you pay for your ex's baby's diapers and recently started including the daughter in your parenting time. Becoming as enmeshed in the ex's family as she wants you to could damage your future. Not to mention that you would be paying your ex and the affair partner for the privilege of babysitting their daughter while you look after your boys. Offer to keep the boys at your house if ex is unable to adequately provide for them. Aside from that she shouldn't get a cent which isn't court ordered. Not the asshole honestly if they're struggling and they're about to have another kid. Have you thought about the boys coming to live with you? I know it'd be a court battle, but it sounds like it's what's best for your boys. They need and deserve stability. It doesn't sound they're getting that at your ex's. It's something to consider. She has a lot of audacity as does her husband. Some people are just unbelievable. Not the asshole, op. Neither your ex or her husband have a job. You need to try to get full custody.
It must be a very stressful living situation for your boys, and she would probably be better able to provide for her daughter and unborn child with you taking full responsibility for the boys. That's a very sad situation. Sorry that your ex is in a bad financial situation, but how can you be expected to provide for yourself, your two children, your ex, her two children, and her husband? Perhaps they can look into social services, which again, may be easier to qualify for if you took full custody of the boys. Not the asshole if she can't provide for the kids with the child support you give her maybe consider going for full custody of your children. Not the asshole. Are you able to get more custody of your sons if you can prove she cannot financially support three children under her roof? With the way their entitlement is coming off, I'm worried she's going to start using your sons to punish you into trying to force you to help them out with their daughter more. That won't be healthy for them. You are only obligated to assist with your sons and not her, her husband or their daughter as you said completely on them and their responsibility alone. Not the asshole. Can you file for custody and cut the other half out altogether? That's some shitty stuff coming from their side. Not the asshole. She and her baby daddy are acting extremely entitled. Also why the f are they having another baby if they can't afford the first one? Why is it your responsibility to take care of them? SMDH. First of all, not the asshole. It seems like you are doing your part and her kids with the other guy are 100% not your responsibility. It sounds like they are trying to squeeze you to limit their own responsibilities. I've never been in a situation similar to this so I can't presume I know how things work but it seems like you have a solid argument to gain more custody of your kids since she is clearly less than capable. Not the asshole at all. When your ex chose another mom over you and decided to bear his children, she took on the responsibility of that choice and the family that came from it. Your responsibility is to your sons, legally 50% of their costs. However I can tell from your comments that you happily cover more for them if needed. Your ex needs to get a job. She needs to make her leech of a husband get a job. Please watch out for your sons. It's admirable to not want to take them from their mother but you also need to make sure they are being taken care of. I'm afraid your wife is trying to spread out your support for her entire blended family and eventually that's going to make everyone do without. Not the asshole. How are your sons doing? Are they going to be expected to help out with their new sibling? Keep records of her asking for money and admitting when it's not being used in your kids. Odds are, if she's asking you for diaper money, she's already spending some of their child support on something other than them.